welcome once again to today's study. Our theme has been that they might know thee. And our key text, which comes from John 17, verse 3. And this is life internal, that they might know thee, the only true God, and Jesus Christ, whom thou hast sent. Let's pray. We thank you, Almighty Father, for we are because you are. You have made us whom we are, Lord. We thank you. We pray that forgive us. And we also pray that come and lead us into today's study. In Jesus' name, Amen. The Divinity of Christ. Today's study has a title which says, The Divinity of Christ. Or you can say, The Deity of Christ. The Deity of Christ or the Divinity of Christ. Today we have one the one question that we shall be answering. Which says, What are the evidences of Christ's divinity? What are the evidences of Christ's divinity? Why do we say that Christ is divine? Our first text comes from the book of John, chapter 1, verse 1. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. The Word was with God, and the Word was God. This text is clearly telling us that the Word was God. We know very well that the Word is Jesus. So Jesus was God. Therefore, Jesus is God. Verse 2 and verse 3 of the same book and chapter says, The same was in the beginning with God. All things were made by him, and without him was not anything made that was made. We see Jesus here as a creator. Being the, the creator is a prerogative that belongs to only God. Let's also read from Colossians chapter 1 verse 16. It's written, For by him were all things created that were in heaven and that were in earth, visible and invisible, whether they be throne or dominions or principalities or powers, all things were created by him and for him. This first shows us that God the Father wrote by his Son in creation of all heavenly beings. Point number two is forgiving sins. Jesus is divine because he forgave sins. When we read from the book of Mark, chapter 2, verse 5, it's written, When Jesus saw their faith, he said unto the sick of the pulse, Son, thy sins be forgiven thee. The text shows us that Jesus was was forgiving sins or he could forgive sins that is one of the evidences of his divinity the other point is a power to judge the world from the book of matthew chapter 25 verse 31 and 32 when the son of man shall come in his glory and all the holy angels with him then shall he sit upon the throne of his glory and before him shall be gathered all nations and he shall separate them one from another as a shepherd divideth his sheep from the gods these verses are showing us a judgment process how jesus will be judging the world this is an evidence of his divinity for who else but God can rightly judge us? The other point is Jesus accepted worship. When we read Matthew chapter 14 verse 33. Then they that were in the ship came and worshipped him, saying, Of the truth thou art the Son of God. This verse has... It, uh, what do we say is worshipped him. Jesus accepted worship. We see in the book of Revelation when an angel who was sent to John the Revelator came to John. John 
bowed down to worship him and this angel told him not to worship him because he was also a servant like John so he refused uh, in that text he refused the worship however for Jesus we see that he accepted the worship that is an evidence of his divinity another evidence comes from the book of Isaiah chapter 40 verse 3 the voice of him that crieth in the wilderness, prepare ye the way of the Lord. Make straight in the desert a highway for our God. This text was a prophecy that was foretelling the coming of the Lord. And this, is, this was John the Baptist who was preparing the way for Jesus. This text has, has words that, that prepare ye the way of the Lord and make straight in the desert a highway for our God. This text shows that John the Baptist was preparing a way for God. And this was Jesus. Not for another person or maybe a prophet, but for God himself who was making a way for God who is Jesus. Another point that shows the uh, evidence of Christ's divinity is Jesus himself regarded himself as God. We shall see this from the book of Matthew, chapter 26, verse 63 and 64. It's written, But Jesus held his peace, and the high priest answered and said unto him, I adjure thee by the living God, that thou tell us whether thou be the, the Christ, the Son of God. Jesus said unto him, Thou hast said, Nevertheless I say unto, unto you, Hereafter shall ye see the Son of Man sitting on the right hand of power, and coming in the clouds of heaven. This verse has a statement which says, Jesus said unto him, Thou hast said. This is an affirmation. That he said, he is God. He is the son of God. Therefore, Christ regarded himself as the son of God. Our very last text coming from the, comes from the book of Colossians, chapter 2, verse 9. It's written, For in him dwelleth all the fullness of Godhead, bold bodily for in him dwelleth all the fullness of godhead bodily this text shows us that he was the physical manifestation of the internal god he was god in flesh even the son of god when the text says godhead bodily in the body that is in the flesh but also the son of god Let's end our today's study with a prayer. Let's pray. We thank you, Almighty Father, for speaking to us through your word. We pray that may you open to us the mysteries of your word. Help us continue to study and know more about you. Continue to teach us. I pray this little believing and trusting in Jesus' name. But blessed is the man who trusts in the Lord, whose confidence is in him. Hello, friend. Are you desperate? Are you weary? Are you troubled? Do you look everywhere and see no hope? Well, look no further. I have come with good news for you. In Hope of Eternal Life Ministry presents to you daily devotions where you will find hope, where you will find comfort, where you will find rest if you are weary, where you will find joy if you are troubled. You can join us every day for daily spiritual devotions on our YouTube channel. You can subscribe. You can click the notification button so that every time that comforting message comes, it will actually find you exactly where you are. May God bless you. I am looking forward to enjoying with you the daily devotions that are spiritual on our YouTube channel in hope of eternal life ministry. See you then.
Away in the darkness I stumbled alone A shepherd by breeding The hills are my home I can't be afraid On this night filled with joy Sleep on the 